Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 9th of November 1918, Kaiser Wilhelm II abdicated as German Emperor and King of Prussia after the German Revolution took hold. The latter years of the First World War had seen Wilhelm's role reduced to that of a shadow Kaiser who handled ceremonial duties while Generals Hindenburg and Ludendorff dominated what historian Gordon A. Craig referred to as a military dictatorship. By September 1918, it had become clear to the German military commanders that the war was lost. Prince Maximilian of Baden was appointed as the new Chancellor of Germany on the 3rd of October and, the next day, sent out a message requesting an armistice in the hope that it would be accepted by US President Woodrow Wilson, who had published his optimistic 14 points earlier that year. By the end of the month, however, it had become increasingly clear that the Allies would only negotiate if Wilhelm II abdicated. Meanwhile, the situation within Germany was rapidly declining. Years of enduring the hardships of war had reduced morale, and when the Imperial Naval Command in Kiel issued an order on the 24th of October to prepare for a final battle against the British Royal Navy, the sailors mutinied. Their revolt quickly spread throughout Germany, leaving Maximilian little choice but to confront Wilhelm, who had fled to the military headquarters in the Belgian town of Spa, and there request his abdication. Before he was able to make the journey to Belgium, however, the growing German revolution prevented Maximilian from leaving Berlin. On the 9th of November, he unilaterally announced the abdication of the Kaiser. Having been informed by his military commanders that they would not fight to keep him on the throne, Wilhelm therefore had little option but to consent. He left Belgium the next day and went into exile in the Netherlands, where he died in 1941.